I'm Amanda Shepard, and I'm pleased to share with you the work of Martina Lopez. Her exhibition at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art includes her newest work in photography. Lopez has worked with the figure and landscape with the age of digital media since 1985. Since then, elements of the family photograph, landscape, and electronic media have been prevalent in her work. In her early work, her imagery was autobiographical, a documentation of her family history. She began incorporating family images beyond her personal album as a way to create a collective history, one which allows individuals to bring their own memories to her work. She says, life is a journey that has made me question many things. The intangible human spirit, the miracle of birth, a devastating diagnosis, the passage of death. This new work is an attempt to come to terms with my mother's advanced aging, memory loss, and inevitable passing. A place away suggests keeping something safe while in a distant state. The specific stories are not necessary to understand the work, but they are what drive their creation. My images have become a visual diary, a place where I come to terms with life. So to tell you a little bit about uh, this body of work, um, I think all my work sort of stems from the same uh, original idea, um, where my father died suddenly, and I started with work from a ca family car trip. And so there was a connection to the landscape inherent in that, as well as um, how, how we just travel through life. So the landscape and the and the people in the photographs have always been part of the art making. And in this body of work, um, I think that's, that's equally as true. But I, when I reflect on my family history, um, I had lost a brother when I was three years old. I was killed in Vietnam and, and it, I only understand him or only have memories of him through the photograph. So in many ways, I have the same kind of relationship with these found photographs as I do with my brother. So there's a sort of connection to those individuals in a way that's very personal, even though I don't know them. There are often a, a little bit of a narrative in there, in, in, in the work, and like the image of the twins in the back. Uh, you know, it's just a reference to uh, the photograph that I found. The, the two girls were more separate and I put them closer together. Um, my daughters over uh, quarantine really began to sort of really engage each other in this sort of really wonderful way. Um, so that's sort of a, re a loose reference to that dynamic that I was observing. Um, so th those are little th things that aren't necessary to understand but would help me um, make the work. So I think one of the uh, interesting things about making art is that we, I, I always tell my students that we're, we are actually obsessed. You know, our ideas may be actually very similar, but we keep making the same work and maybe it al is altered or slightly different. And so if you look at the, the photograph with the figure in the landscape, which is not so dissimilar from the idea of the family car trip that I mentioned. Um, you know, our existence in this land, and for, it's just a moment in time. Uh, but it's but taking like this body of work to the um, the shelf pieces, and um, it's kind of the same piece. The landscape is separate. Uh, the objects sit on a shelf, but they're uh, essentially there in, in a more temporal sort of way. So they're not uh, completely attached. Where in this piece, they're, they're a little more, you know, transparent and fleeting. I think one, there's the technology of the photograph itself, right? The source material, the archive, and selecting that image. But it's a way of sort of marrying the 
the landscape with the objects or the photograph itself and then um, reconstructing them. So it's sort of usually have an idea of, the, of what I'm after and then working towards that, I, they construct. And I, and I think it's because I've been doing it so long, it's, it kind of starts in my head. And then I anticipate the technology and how it's going to work. Um, but I, there's also a little bit of kind of push against it, too, where I'm not quite sure. Like, I like to sort of see and kind of use the um, processes, you know, to alter exactly what I see. So it, uh, it's sort of referencing a lot of handmade things, or early 19th century um, processes, like uh, salt printing, um, and having done that kinds, those kinds of processes, there's some oxidation qualities that are actually completely fabricated, but reference the past. So uh, it's more, maybe more seamless than it ever was before. The title of the show is A Place Away, and it's in regards to um, my mother dealing with Alzheimer's, and she's 95 and uh, has had Alzheimer's for hmm, probably a good 18 years. Yeah, long time. But she's in a place now where she's not either here in this world or, or but she's still alive. She, but she's not able to converse with us anymore. And, and this is sort of um, an experimentation, I guess, on uh, understanding, you know, maybe it's the spirit uh, where, where, where we exist. Um, she's kind of partly here and partly not here. Physically, she's here. You know, some of the work is, is more like drawing. It sort of is flatter and isn't quite a photograph, or maybe it is, sort of is, but it's, it's not dimensional. And then some of the work is trying to be a little more dimensional or a little, have a little more presence. Um, and so I'm, I think I'm just kind of, kind of questioning our existence and um, our being. And at some point, she won't be here. Um, but I think in the other ways, she, she'll exist in another, another form. So, so I, I guess I paralleled that with 2, 2D and 3D and, you know, that search for, um, you know, different a way to suggest that presence. Thank you for joining me for this look at the work of Martina Lopez. To find out what's happening at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, visit our website at fwmoa.org.